Well, save the polar bear, but screw the taxpayer. <laughs> the EPA now claims it has the power to raid the paycheck of any American accused of breaking its rules, but without court approval. John, what are they thinking? Well, Eric, what is the EPA? You know, unelected bureaucrats writing arbitrary laws impacting and restricting your ability to live, your ability to use energy. Where does this end up? The EPA fining you $50,000 for digging a hole in your, in your backyard or $10,000 for chopping down a tree. It's the hatred of man for animals' sake, and it's a terrible, terrible scourge on, on taxpayers. Well, what's so funny, Bob? Why are you chuckling? Well, it's, it's funny, first he's right. The, only you guys would put this up. It had nothing to do with polar bears. It was about breaking emission standards. And if you break emission standards, you ought to pay a fine. It had nothing to do with polar bears. Where's the due process, though? The EPA is acting as the judge, the jury. I mean, this is very yes. dangerous. It's government well, overreach. It, if there's any agency that needs to be eliminated, it's the EPA. Well, well, fine. When you get there, do that. But in the meantime, there are regulations that you can only emit so much dirty air. And every year, Republicans try to do away the clean air and clean water bill. And, you know, I can understand where they're coming Wayne, from. Wayne, Wayne, let's be fair. Let's be fair and balanced here. The, the law has been on the books since 1996 that a government agency, if you don't pay your fine, can actually go after you. But no one's really used it before. The EPA says, guess what? We're going to start using that rule. Well, what's wrong here, Eric, is that this is the administrative government out of control. I don't care whether it's the EPA or the VA or whoever the hell it is, it doesn't matter. When you allow a federal agency to do be judge, jury, and convict you on something that you have no, nothing to do with, whether you are violating the law or not, it's fascist government. We have a fascist government by, by administration, not by law. That's a pretty strong statement, John. Fascist government, huh? That was Wayne. Uh, oh, wait, I was going to agree with that. Wayne. Michelle, very quick thought. Uh, eco terrorists, EPA? Well, look, I think that they do more damage than any SUV could do to this economy. They're, they're destroying our society. They're destroying businesses. They're destroying jobs. I say get rid of them. All right. I'm going to have to agree with that. We're going to say thank you very much to Michelle Fields.